All right, so we're back here at the motor, finishing uh, torquing up the cylinder heads so that we can put together the rest of it. On the tops of the heads, or the head bolts, I just put a vertical mark because it wants the last torquing procedure, you want to turn it 90 degrees. So I just make one mark on each bolt and make sure that it's exactly 90 degrees after I get done. I've already done the front head. I'm going to go ahead and do the back head. Perfect. All right, now all that's done, we'll go ahead and start getting in our pushrod tubes. And for the pushrod, the intake is silver, the exhaust is black. And we went ahead and put our new O-rings in the head, the lifter covers, as well as the pushrod tube covers. And I forgot to do this on this side, but we'll go ahead and do it on this cylinder. I already got the inside of it a little bit. But I read about spraying WD-40 on a toothbrush and cleaning the uh, textured parts of it as well, the fins and stuff. It's supposed to bring, bring it back pretty good. I did it on the rest of the cases down here, and it made it look like new. So I'm going to go ahead and hit all this, make it look good. We're spending all this time building the motor. Might as well make it look good too, right? All right, <clears throat> I got my push rod tubes all in. Push rods are set in there, lubricated the tops and bottoms of both of those. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put on our cam gear set or sprocket set. There's two dots, one right there and one on the crank. And when you put your one on the crank, there's a line right here on the uh, cam plate. You want that dead on with it. And then your cam does the same thing so the dots both line up with each other right there or at least that's what the manual says I have no idea what I'm doing but that's what it says so we'll try it and see if it runs First it says to tighten to 15 foot-pounds and then loosen one complete revolution. So we'll go 15 foot-pounds first. I think that's where I'm at. Where am I at here? Then we loosen them both one revolution. Alright, then it says to tighten them to 
or tighten the rear camshaft bolt to 34 foot pounds. Everything still appears to be in line. So now we'll go ahead and get our rockers, rocker covers, all that stuff, rocker boxes, all that stuff on there and get it snugged up. Alright, <clears throat> go ahead and get these rocker boxes set up here and I just uh, Cleaned off both mating surfaces on the head. Went ahead and put on our uh, our gasket, and I'm gonna put a little bit of thread locking on the bottom of the bolts too. Take a trip down on easy street. Actually, before I go any further with the uh, rocker covers. I'm going to get our intake in there because this is going to limit my ability to get to the bolts to snug it up and put it together in there. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and get this intake plate up there so it'll hold our and take in the exact spot where we want it to be before I snug up all my bolts where it mounts to the head up here. I'm just going to go through and snug up the bolts side to side, try to do it evenly so it doesn't pinch out the uh, O-ring so it'll seal properly. Now we can go ahead and do our rocker arms and I'm going to go ahead and put some assembly lube on the tops of all that stuff real quick just so it's not starting dry. down real quick and I'm not going to snug them up I'm just going to get them down a little bit so I don't have to do it by hand and I'm going to turn over the motor till both of the uh, cam lobes aren't pushing up on the push rod so I don't have any tension on my bolts torque specs on these things did the right way all right we got all of our rocker arms torqued to spec now all we have left to do is put on the covers and we have a assembled motor it's ready to drop in there totally 
I'm gonna put a little bit of blue thread lock on the bottom of all these bolts too. Of course, I'm going to go back over these and torque them by hand. Once again, I'll go ahead and finish torquing off, uh, torquing off, <laughs> torquing the tops of both of those. And uh, the next video, we'll go ahead and get her dropped in the bike and see if she starts. All right, got this motor all put together. We still got some finishing touches. I'm gonna leave the cam chest cover off until the next video, but we're ready to go ahead and flush out the oil tank, get our new oil lines on there, clean up our engine area, and uh, and get it set in there, get some fresh fluids in it, and hopefully see if it starts in the next episode. Uh, please continue to watch, uh, share our videos, and uh, hit the notification bell so you know when our next video comes out. We appreciate y'all watching.